Specialist Jeff Merrill in Anacortes, Washington aboard the Nordhaven 62 Island Greeter. Island Greeter is a 2007 model year. She's hull 34 out of 39 Nordhaven 62s built, and she really has a spectacular layout and a wonderful assortment of equipment. The owners came from sailboats, cruising sailboats. We sat down with them to design this boat, and she has a lot of the most attractive features of any Nordhaven 62. It's a wide body arrangement, so you have a bigger salon. There's the stern bustle back on the, on the back of the boat. You have great access throughout the boat in the interior, three staterooms, three heads, up to the pilot house with outstanding view, the back deck for a patio that gives you a spectacular view. Up on the foredeck, two tenders. For equipment, you have the lugger dry stack, you have the wing with hydraulics, there's the AVT active fin stabilizers, hydraulic bow thruster, stern thruster. It just goes on and on and on. So thanks for coming with me today. Let's go take a look around. The Nordhaven 62 is iconic in design, and one of the great features is this huge foredeck, which then comes back to the aft pilot house. So you have a great amount of space up here. The bow is very high off the water. There's a bulbous bow down below. The two windlasses are both vertical. You have a hydraulic windlass and an electric windlass. That whole anchor well area will drain water overboard. There's also a Freeman deck hatch to get down to the chain locker. There are hatches, and these are the manship stainless steel hatches above the cabins and the heads up forward, derayed vents, two fiberglass built-in deck boxes for storage. The one on the starboard side actually has a tank for gasoline for the tender. The Airtex crane on center right here can pick up either dinghy. So you have a tender, a nautica on both sides, 17 out of 10. They will go off on either side. And then you have some rails back there. You're over the other staterooms as you go back to the Portuguese bridge. But this is an incredible amount of space right here. The foredeck is fantastic on Island Greeter, and I think you'll really enjoy getting on here and seeing how much room there is. The starboard side deck connects the foredeck with the cockpit. There are steps up forward. As you come back aft, you'll notice a door into the salon. You also have a very high bulwark throughout this area. There is a boarding gate on the starboard side for getting in and out of the dock, and then it comes right back to the cockpit with overhead coverage. The cockpit or aft deck area on Island Greeter is superb. Now, this is a wide body boat, so there's only a walking side deck on the starboard side, which means the salon goes all the way over to the port side. There's a little seating area on the port side, fiberglass table, little bench seating. And from here, you can also step back into the swim platform, which is the stern bustle. The stern bustle has a hatch over it, and there's an eight kilowatt generator down in there. There's also a fortress anchor mounted back here. You can have access to the steering down below in here. You're covered overhead with the side deck. There's an opening window right here and a fabulous barbecue. I've actually enjoyed a very nice dinner cooked from this barbecue while underway and a docking station right on the edge of this counter surface. So sink, barbecue, docking station, plenty of storage, and wait, there's more. There's a windlass, a warping winch right here by the salon door to let you in. So you can do an anchor tie to a, a tree on the, on the beach, or you can use it just for warping in a dinghy or whatever you want. So a lot of things going on back here. Fabulous area, the cockpit of Island Greeter. Enter the salon from the door on the port side. This door has two window panels in it, making it much better visibility. All of the wood in here is cherry. It's a gloss finish, so it really looks shiny. It's very attractive. On both sides, you'll see two windows. The two windows is a later configuration for the Nordhaven 62s. The earlier boats had three windows. This just lets more light. You can see great, better visibility. Uh, flat screen television on a lift right here. Entertainment console. As I come forward up towards the galley, there are three stools for sitting down, talking to the cook or having breakfast. There's great headroom in here. Over on the starboard side, a huge U-shaped area, beautiful cherry table. And there's an insert that goes in there it's out of there right now, so you can get in and out of the table area easier. You have visibility back aft. The dry stack exhaust comes up through that column. This is the stairway up to the pilot house, and you'll notice that we don't have the panel here. You've got the visibility through, which was a choice. Door here to go out to the side deck. Steps down here to go to the living accommodations. And then in here is the galley. The galley, again, has that same great headroom. Beautiful, big, deep granite surface for preparing meals and serving meals, overhead lockers. There are drawers in here. All the drawers have the metal glide, so they, they move much easier. 
double basin sink with a garbage disposal, window here so while you're cooking you've got some visibility, a dishwasher, trash compactor, four burner stove, microwave convection oven, electric uh, oven right here, and then three sub-zero refrigerator devices. This area is just spectacular for living. So for preparing meals, for serving meals, for relaxing, watching television, you'll find that you'll probably spend more time in this general area than almost anywhere else on the boat. So many great features on the Nordhaven 62. One of them is the Portuguese bridge. You are up very high, protected up here. You have a door that opens up to let you go down onto the foredeck. And then in this turret area here, there's a docking station on both sides. There are forward lockers built into the Portuguese bridge and an outstanding centerline dock box back here for cleaning supplies, various things. So as you're coming along, you've got a great visibility protected up here. And there's also a docking station like this. I have the control for the engine bow thruster, stern thruster, and a jog lever. From this position, I can look forward. I can also check back behind me. You really can control the boat. The Portuguese bridge is just a great feature on the Nordhaven 62. Behind the pilot house is the upper aft deck. Now, the Nordhaven 62 does not come with a flybridge, but this becomes your outdoor living space, and in many ways, it's better than a flybridge. Typically, you're anchored, the bow's into the wind, so the wind's coming by the side, and you have this fabulous seating area. Bimini top overhead, seating all the way around, seats facing aft, Seats facing forward. This can also be lowered to be an overnight bed if you wanted to. Good railing around here. Access to your flopper stoppers for launching them. The real life sling and you have a good view. It's just fantastic view looking back aft from this upper aft deck. The Pilot House and Island Greeter is the operational command center. You come up the stairway on the starboard side as you come up to the top, there's a door right out to the side deck and also a desk all the way aft, which I'll get some footage of to show you. Up forward where all the action is happening, a chart table right here. There's a laptop, VHF radios, more control screens, electrical breakers. This is the Westmar sonar right here. Main engine control, autopilot, bow and stern thruster, jog lever for autopilot. That's the sonar display. Another autopilot here, another chart plotter, various wind instruments, closed circuit TV. Up top, the wing engine, clock barometer, your level gauge, and then your main engine. Here is a hatch that gives you light and ventilation coming back through. Over on the port side is a double Dutch door. Opens in half. It's a PCM door. Good lighting all the way through. And then if you're a guest while someone else is operating the boat, you can sit on this wonderful L-shaped settee back here. And there's even a watch berth if you need to spend the night. Everything you want up here in this pilot house, the visibility is just about 360 degree. Fantastic. I love this pilot house. You'll love it when you're underway. You'll love it when you're at rest. This is just a fantastic place to operate Island Reader. Just forward of the salon and galley is the hallway. And in this hallway, there's several different things to look at. You come down a couple of steps, Primarily, you have your electrical panel here. All your breakers are up here. There are some up in the pilot house, but this is your primary electrical, your shore power select, air conditioning, two inverters, generators down below here. The hallway moves forward to the guest staterooms. There's a pantry locker, washer, dryer. We'll get up there next, but the owner cabin is right over here, and the entrance to the engine room is right back here. So we'll come into the owner cabin, and I'll give you a tour of what's going on in here. In the owner cabin, you have a great bed here. This is further aft. We're kind of in the area where the foredeck is above us. And so this is all, all the living spaces are beneath the foredeck. Big bed, large hanging locker, uh, sort of a little bureau area over here. Up here is a flat screen television, as well as a couple of drawers. There's another hanging locker over there. You can see the headroom up here. There are opening hatches over right here. There are fixed port lights up there giving a great look to it. And then the owner head is in here. There's a toilet, shower, sink, port light, and this all this beautiful cherry, gloss finish. And then from here, we'll go back to the hallway, and from the hallway, we'll go forward, and I'll show you what's going on up there. Again, just forward of the electrical panel is the pantry locker, which is right in here. And then you have a couple of little steps coming up here. You end the angling, and then from up here, it goes forward straight line. You have the concealed behind these lockers, the ASCO clothes dryer, washer, and there's even a changing shelf right here that Doshing put into the boat. 
as you come forward, there's a little paper locker right here, and then the guest cabin is to port. There is a shower up here with an overhead hatch and a port light, sink, toilet, and then the beds themselves, it's a double bed off to the port side, as well as a pipe berth back aft. Overhead hatch, very comfortable guest accommodations. And then as you come forward here, this door will close and separate the entire forward area into its own special area, a suite. There is a toilet, sink, and actually the biggest shower on the boat is over here for the VIP stateroom. You come up a step, another step, and in the VIP, this is a unique feature that was put together for Island Greeter. We wanted to have a comfortable equivalent stateroom to the owner cabin. So I believe this is the only 62 that has this island bed arrangement, easy to get up and around. It's up very high because of the hull curve, but very comfortable, very accommodating. Port lights, hanging lockers, hatch, and then below the floor are some machinery spaces, which I will open them up and then we'll get the camera. I'll show you those separately. So a lot of good living space here. We're all underneath the foredeck. You have three cabins, the owner, and then you have the guest and you have the VIP with the, each has his own head. Wonderful place. Equipment placement for serviceability and reliability is a Nordhaven hallmark, and it's no exception on the Nordhaven 62. Up forward in the VIP cabin where I am right now and below the floor, there are two big lockers here for components. Up forward is a fold-up hatch. Down below there are battery placement, as well as the Westmar sonar and an access hatch up to the bulbous bow if you need to get up there, which is kind of a neat thing to do. You don't do it very often, but you'll do it a couple of times in your term of ownership. This locker right here at the foot of the entrance to the VIP has it. Let me show you. There are several different pieces of machinery. It's all serviceable. You can get to all of it. So there's your ISO boost transformer, sump pump. There's a transformer there. Outboard, you can see some of the hydraulics, some of the head components. There are two inverters down here. And this is the crane power pack. Again, there's a bilge pump system down below where my bare feet are, and then there are some through holes over here. An important neat idea add on later in talking to another owner was putting this little plastic plexiguard here to prevent water from getting in there and contaminating or fouling and disrupting the operation of the inverter. And then here's that forward area. You have to kind of squeeze to get down there, but you can. There are batteries. The Westmar sonar is up forward as well as the where you see all the fasteners on the round deal to the to the lower left, that's the access to the bulbous bow. So I think Nordhaven does a great job here. You do need to get into these areas for servicing, but the best machinery space, not counting this area or the stern bustle or the lazarette area in the cockpit for the steering, is the engine room. Let's go take a look at that next. In the engine room on the Nordhaven 62, remember that the Nordhaven 46 was the first design and Nordhaven understood more about how much space was required in the engine room. So it's not the stand-up headroom they got in the later models, but you actually have a very comfortable seating area on both sides. So on the starboard side here, you come into the entry through the door. There's a fuel manifold system forward, Raycor fuel systems, sight glass, more fire suppression system, central vac system. Behind me here is the keel cooler, a hydraulic alternator, hydraulic reservoir tank, the wing engine, of course the main engine, the Lugger 1276 right here. The exhaust works back all the way back aft and there's railing on here. It's carpeted. Let me just pull around over to the other side and show you over here. So I'm sitting back here on a landing, and underneath me is a sea chest for the raw water provisions. More pumps on the shelving back here. There are two water makers forward behind me, a Northern Lights 20 kW generator. Hatches here will re be removable if you needed to get up and remove some big machinery up through the salon. So it's a very workable engine room, easy to get around. The rail makes it very comfortable for moving around. 
You just don't have the walking around stand up headroom that Nordhaven did on their later designs. But the Nordhaven 62 is spectacular. A single engine, access on either side, well, good access to the servicing of parts, and uh, we really like it. Thank you for your time aboard Island Greeter today. It's really fun to show people this boat in person, and we'd like to get you on board if it's a boat you're interested in. We do that by appointment. You can call or text me. The number's on the screen, or send me an email. For more information on Island Greeter, jmys.com has all the information you're looking for. There are photos. There are specifications. There are details. There's 360 tours, uh, layouts of it. Should give you a pretty comprehensive view of the boat to go along with this video. I would like to also add that the slip in Anacortis is available. It's not part of the purchase price, but if you would like to have a home for Island Greeter in the Pacific Northwest where slips are very coveted, that is something that can be arranged. Island Greeter winters in Anacortis, and she spends her spring and summer up in the Pacific Northwest, up in Alaska, up in the San Juans, doing what this kind of boat is designed to do. So thank you for your time. Please get in touch with me if you'd like to know more, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Hey, great to be underway again out on the water. Love it out here. Thank you very much for watching the video. We have a couple of things you can do. One thing is you can click the bell to get a reminder when we post the next video. We love it when you give us those thumbs up. And then you can subscribe by clicking the button below. Once you've seen a couple of videos, you might also want to check out some of the other ones. So you can click on one of these videos on the side. Thanks. We hope to have you come back here soon and we'll be putting up more content shortly.